Welcome to the first episode of whatever the fuck this is. I, like, I guess we'll have to tag this in name. SFW because we're probably going to curse a lot. Cursing. We're going to say the fuck word, so look out. <laughs> this is a Star Wars Edge of the Empire actual play podcast and also actual dumbasses. <laughs> Live. Confirmed to in canon for dumbass. Every single one of your characters was assigned dumbass at birth. <laughs> I'm Malcolm. I'm playing every fucking character in the whole Star Wars millions of billions of planets universe, except for four bastards, <laughs> who I love. Um, um, <laughs> I'm Nuki, and I'm playing dumbass numero uno, Merit, <laughs> or Mara. Um, so Merit is a Zeltron, she's, so she's got pink skin, uh, kind of like whitish pink with... Mag- that goes magenta under stress. Um, she's and under job it. Shut your whole mouth. <laughs> um, and she's got dark red hair, uh, like shoulder length. It's it's uh, her bangs are kind of tied back on her head. Um, that makes sense. I got a drawing somewhere. It's right in front of me. This is the audio medium. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just imagine it. Yeah, she's, you are she's, in your mind. <laughs> she's five four. Defining features. She's got a single perfectly vertical scar at the edge of her left corner of her mouth. Uh, she's a smuggler. She's got a ship. The ship's called the Alexandria. It's a medium class wayfarer cargo ship. And that's I think that's about it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Go, go ahead, Kate. Okay. Hello. I am Kate. I am playing Aisha, a technician who was originally residing on Narshada and she She's, like, got, like, kind of reddish skin with, like, things kind of all over her body, oh, both on her, whatever the fuck those things are called on her head. Let and Montrals. Yeah, I think uh, it cut out. There's been a couple little cuts, but I think it yeah. cut when you say Tegruda. But it's fine. She's a we get the gist. Yeah. She's a Tegruda, <laughs> and she's a technician, so she's, like, got some beat up technician gear, you know. Imagine, like, a technician on a really run-down, junk-ass planet would look like. Except the rest of her is very regal-looking, because she's a Tegruda. Okay. Valid. Nice. She's valid, and I love Incredibly her. valid. My name is Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> I am playing a lame human named Foss. Um, Foss is 24 years old. Uh, he's 5'9". He has lived his life as a middle-class boy. Um who is trained to become a doctor, uh, but his, uh, he has recently left the planet for the first time to do some crime. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> as if he hadn't before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, I have written down as his build, he's a scrawny little bitch, um, he's a little bit lanky, has black hair, and, uh, wears space goggles at all times for protection against unknown, uh, space air agents. Gotta keep those eyes sharp. Exactly. I just want to really emphasize scrawny little bitch is written verbatim on Gabe's character sheet (laughs) in case that wasn't completely clear. (laughs) And it's the truth. And, uh, (laughs) my name's Rue. You got a mystery man. Yeah, I got a mystery boy. (laughs) Never before seen by mortal eyes. (laughs) He's right here. (laughs) <laughs> now there's a gonk droid. Ruth no. just pointed to a drawing of a gonk droid. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so ready. Oh boy. All right. So uh, the game we're playing is Star Wars: Edge of the Empire. It's a tabletop role-playing game by Fancy Flight Games. Uh, it's a really fucking good game. If you have problem D and D, check this one out because it might be better. Unless you don't like Star Wars, so I guess like that's kind of a, a big detraction, but you should like Star Wars. I'll wow. find you. That's, okay. <laughs> I'll not will kill you with his bare hands. I mean, if you're, if you're watching this, you probably have some sort of interest in Star Wars. Yeah, we'll listen but, <laughs> So yeah, that's the uh, game we're playing. So uh, the way it works, or the way one mechanic works, is that at the start of the game, everyone rolls this force dice, which I'm holding up as if the microphone is a video recording device. <laughs> Uh, And we generate force points for the game. Uh, The GM can flip dark side force points to, like, make a bad thing happen. And the players can flip light side force points to make a fucking good thing happen. I like Uh, that you said fucking. It was very forceful. Yeah. (laughs) Thanks. That's the one I want to emphasize. We're very positive here. 
Okay. So all the players are going to generate those force points. I'm going to roll in this padded luxury dice box. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> absolutely not something I just pulled out of the trash. It wasn't the recycle, not the trash. Oh, gunk. Ooh, we got two dark side. I'm sorry. Uh, does someone want to roll for Kate? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's Kate's roll. Oh, Ooh, wow. Two, two light, light side. side. Nice. 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 Oh. Yeah, slap those down. You, did, you done did it. You done you did it. This is such a silent box also. Two it's more good. light Whoa. sides. Ooh, oh, there, too there, light. Yeah. Slap them down there. Mm. I like the look of this setup. Two lights. What? What? Wow. Oh, we got, God. We got so much to do. Some good boys in here. Okay, but if we're like, hey, can we have a light side, then we only have two options for that. So if we fuck this up... Wait a minute. Oh, no, you flip the light side one. Oh. So then it's a dark side. That's how it works, the economy. Oh, wow. I wasn't even in character, and I was a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Method acting. Method acting, baby. Drunken did you roll? Uh, I did not. I don't know if the GM is supposed to, but I guess I might as well. I mean, you use the wow. points too. So one I dark side. Dunk ass. Yeah. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, oh, six light and three dark for the start of this session. We'll just see where that goes. I will use all of those light points right now. <laughs> I uh, Foss has always had a yacht. Shut um, up! <laughs> with a pleasure table. A pleasure table. Yeah. Pleasure table. Pleasure table. <laughs> I don't know what it means still. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. in the game I'm rules, it says it. you can't flip more than one uh, Destiny point at once. Mm. Unfortunately. Foss Otherwise, I think six would be yacht. valid. <laughs> you, you, you have to flip them all over, and each turn you get a part for your shit. Yeah. <laughs> First part, zero G pleasure oh, table. <laughs> it's like a Johnny Cash song where he works at a, like, a car factory and what he steals fuck? one part every day. <laughs> What? It's a good what? song. <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> listening knows that song. And they're guess, like, oh yeah. I guess you know your Johnny Cash lore. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you pull that from? Okay. I don't know good fucking music. <laughs> Nuki. Wow. Wow. We... Okay, so we did that. Um, Where did we end off last time? Uh, ooh, the way you ended off last time. Previously, smuggler pirate Merant and civilian Dr. Foss traveled to Nar Shaddaa where they met a cybertech mechanic named Aisha. Javak Mendas, a suspiciously young clone trooper turned pirate, tasked them with stealing some crates and cautioned them not to be seen. Aisha recognized two of the guards and immediately engaged them in conversation while the others snatched the crates, but Merritt managed to convince Javak after the fact that the group had stayed hidden. They fled to meet up with Javak in person, which is where we find our intrepid young adventurers now. Welcome to Archives of the Alexandria, Negotiations on Norlac, Episode 1. So hopefully you, listener, have, have just heard that or heard it at the start. I don't know. <laughs> you were all returning to your ship, uh, and you saw, oh, just some stormtroopers. You know, probably not anything to worry about, except they were standing right at, like, where your ship was docked. And Morant, you were <sighs> standing there, and there's an Imperial officer standing there next to you, and he says, uh, is this uh, your ship? You are the captain of the uh, uh, Shangri-La Star? Mm. Is that this uh, freighter? No, sir. Excuse me. There seems to be a mistake. or Some sort of mix-up. There's like a stormtrooper behind him with like a, a fucking data pad. And he's like, uh, sir, uh, <laughs> and shows him. And the officer like turns and uh, looks. Uh, well, um... He says very quietly, uh, well, don't do it again. Oh. <laughs> and he turns and walks away I give with him the stormtroopers following him. I give him a salute to his <laughs> back. Oh, oh, man, it's a little bit fucking dodged. No. <laughs> what? what? Oh. Okay, I'm, Morant is kind of profusely sweating. Yeah, Foss is like standing in a puddle and <laughs> No! <laughs> Not <don't>. actually. <laughs> Like, be careful what you say. <laughs> it's canon <laughs> now. No, no, metaphorical no. piss. <laughs> is full on what sweating. What is metaphorical piss like, Gabe? <laughs> it's like smells the feeling. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smell feeling. He uh, would be standing in his own piss if he could piss. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> the first twist of our <laughs> podcast. That's Foss's secret. He's on a quest to get another frustrating <laughs> day. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast ends. <laughs> We're all taken away for crimes. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Um, okay, was that... It's fine, though? They're gone? Yeah, but wow. it seems that someone else 
is approaching. Oh, God. Who could Did it be? you see my text earlier? No. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> for Rue, or should I say Ewan, yeah. your, uh, shall I say your employer? Uh-huh. Oh, God. Is, has contacted you and told oh. you, you've been contacted and told there's, uh, this pirate on Norlac, oh, the planet God. Norlac, named Javek Mendas, who your employer would like to foster a working professional crime relationship Ooh. with I don't like this. Oh, yeah. So, uh yeah, you have to you're on Narshida, you have to find a shuttle for Norlac. Ooh, right, look at guys. that. A ship is taking off. Maybe they're coincidentally going exactly where you want to go. We are going to Norlac. <laughs> but I don't like this one bit. And um, now, uh Rue, describe Ewan. I uh I approach. Uh Ewan is a gank. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> if you look up what a gank Sounds is, I'm um, It's like half between a gunk and a gunk. No, no. <laughs> if you look up what a gank is from Star Wars, it looks like that. Um, wow. He has this, like, mask, and he's really buff. And that, that's all I have. He's 5'11". So, that's valid. He's 5'11". <laughs> he's very tall. Okay. Does he have, like, fur showing through his metal parts, or is no. he, like, clothed? Okay. He's they have clothed. fucking fur? Yeah, they're, yeah, like, they're oh my apparently, God, like, know a that. werewolf. Yeah. That's very valid. No! No! <laughs> no! Gabe just made the worst face. <laughs> Stop! You Gabe, got there's so many furries in Star Wars. You yeah. have to yeah, come to terms Gabe. with this. Okay. Get it together. Uh, I walk He's... up, and I'm like, I'm like, hello, is this the captain of the <laughs> ship? Are you taking off soon? Uh. I see <clears> passage <throat> to Norlac. Uh, that's kind of a... I'm <clears throat> trying to do somewhat of a voice. Um, oh, I that's... got a good one for you. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> um, um, that's sort of a... Almost, I look over to Foss, like, what the fuck? Um, and Aisha as well. That's that's sort of an incredible coincidence. Um, who can I? May I inquire politely? Who the fuck are you? Oh, oh yes, of course. Because uh. <laughs> we are going to Norlac, but um, oh, perfect. There's been some. Today's been a today's been a little little bit of a weird one. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you uh, exactly what the fuck you're doing. Uh, my name is Ewan. I um. Good name. It's an Obi-Wan Kenobi Just voice. Trademark! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, I have business on Norlac from my employer. I am a. Bounty hunter? Bounty hunter. <laughs> um, how. First of all, can we negotiate a price for passage? Yes, of course. Okay. How does. How far is Norlac away? Oh, uh, I don't fucking. Jesus. 300 credits? There's, like, no... 500 credits for five. You were a long ways away from Narshadar. It was not a long ways away. It was, was like, a five-day journey to Ryloth. Norlac, I think it's fairly far from Hut's face, so, like... Okay, five... Five days would be the average, like, expected travel time. 500 credits? This is all fake Five days in hyperspace, I should know. This is fake money. I just want to negotiate something reasonable. I can do 500. You have 500 credits. Out of character. Out of character? As a player. (laughs) Out of character, this as a fake. player, no. But I assume my employer can compensate. Oh, okay. mm. that, yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Um, also, may I ask who your employer is? Because I'd like to avoid any awkward entanglements with certain um, groups. Oh, he's just a smuggler. Okay. Is that a bad? Is that bad to say? Would I know? Would I know him? I don't know. Smuggling is basically like the national pastime on Narshada. It's yeah. like super okay. like. Oh, okay. Well, you're yeah. almost enforced to be a smuggler if you go there. Mm-hmm. It's all crime. Like, there's no, like, fucking okay, laws good. except okay. don't fuck with the huts. I said I said the right thing. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, well, in that case, yeah. Yeah, come come aboard. Um, can I see, can I just check out what sort of heat you're packing before you come on, just to make sure you don't have, like, a <laughs> dick with bomb or anything? I mean, not his dick, Kate. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> no! Alright. <laughs> okay, what, what weaponry does he actually have? Because we haven't seen um, this. He has a vibro, vibro knife. Oh, nice. Me too, same hat. Uh, brass knuckles and a... Okay. Oh, sword. shit. So I that's kinda... like an actual gun. In Star Wars, blasters, are they're all fucking laser guns, but a slug throw is like a like an earth metal. gun. 
like oh, you, yeah. it, it pierces so your it body actually, and you actually die instead of like yeah. oh I got burned like you can't block it with a lightsaber because it just fucking melts and like melts and metal like gets on Spots your face on and you. shit that's okay. horrifying D- so dumbass it's not great. found dead with two bullet holes a <laughs> hundred billion bullet holes <laughs> um okay uh well that checks out come come aboard welcome to the alexandria i suppose thank you and then i, I kind of motioned to aisha and foss as well i'm like okay do you guys have any stuff or is, is this it i know you foss you're is there a place that you want to sit in the ship yeah there are many places Ooh. for you want to sit let me you show a, you yeah. a map of what the ship looks like um, Rue. yeah so i i'll just kind of show him around and aisha i guess so both of you foss i'm like you can go back to your room you yeah. you claimed first firsties there's like a um, bunch of little cabins oh, yeah fancy. it's a it's a wayfarer class medium con- transport medium transport um, it's it's a little bit too big for one person to have, I suppose. I'll show Aisha and Iwan around. There's several rooms in towards the helm of the ship. There's a really big hangar for smaller like uh, land speeders, but which I have one of, but no more. There's a lot of cargo piled up that I'll, I'll get to, I suppose. Um, some some sketchy items, uh, but since my plans have been absolute fucked, uh, this is this is the, the setup. Um, so you guys can go ahead and choose a room. There's one more larger, like, more stately room with a private bathroom and a larger bed, and then there's, like, seven or so, um, just quarters with nice beds in them furnished. So... Did I pick the big one last time? You did. I think I did, yeah. Yeah. But I'm... Foss isn't picky, like, if anybody else wants it, they're okay. free to have it. What, what bunk are you guys going to claim for the sleep- sleepover supreme slumber party? Um, I want that one. That's the whole ship. <laughs> <laughs> I want... Uh, this one. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I show you to your room. You go ahead and sit down. Also, as we pass the Dejeric table, I say <laughs> specifically, and here's my Dejeric table. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. What is a room that's, like, fucking furthest from every single other room? Uh, they're all... <laughs> they're, they're all, all in there. there. You can sleep on the floor somewhere if you'd like to, but... <laughs> I assume you, like, indicated that you would like to be separated from the rest. That is shoved in the ass corner of the entire ship. Let me see. I'm, I have them on my phone so I can zoom in. Yeah. Uh, oh, it doesn't have... Hmm. A tiny room on the far left side Ow. of the ship, listener, outside, like, of every other living room, and there's just, like, one chair in there. Yeah. Maybe it's, like, a weapons thing? Maybe. Or you so, could, it looks like some sort of, like, control yeah. panel. You could pretty much hunker down anywhere. I, I'd... Marriott kind of like shows you guys that and isn't really bothered about you guys dismantling the ship, so she's gonna go ahead and get the controls going for this trip, cool. I think. Um, place my shit down in seven. Okay. Like the furthest, most secluded <laughs> ass room in the entire ship. I hear. I will say, I'm not sure there's a bed in there. Yeah, I'm aware of like an airlock door opening and closing, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Super I cool. I wanna sit down right here and just sit. Stare into nothing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Like a cat. Like that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm uh, assuming I'm putting in the coordinates for Norlac. Yeah. D- if you want, you can like roll a check to try to get there quicker. Mm. If that would be uh, astrogation. Oh yeah, I have I that. I'm trained. Yeah, in you that. better have your character sheet. Oh, that was <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> uh, astrogation. And I think it's two greens. Just, just an easy difficulty, just to see. Like, how good okay. are you at ship and I, flying? I feel like I've not proved myself thus so far. <laughs> okay, so yeah. two, two successes. Um, how fast does that get us to Norlac? I think, like, like maybe closer to four days than five. Okay, cool. And uh, if you guys want, you can, like, do some interactions I want to roll each again other. for Dejeric, oh, please. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, boy. What oh. was this again? What, was what this did we say for Dejeric last time? Uh, yeah, Electric uh, Cunning. You can choose which one, I'm pretty sure. Electric oh, Cunning. We're playing Tezzerick, and last time he beat I think me. You actually, oh. I think Nuki did Skullduggery last time, yeah, which I'm is gonna... maybe more if you're, like, trying to cheat. I'm oh, trying to yeah, cheat. and then I think I did education. <laughs> Cheating at Tezzerick. You're a good boy. Um, <sighs> you're using some, like, Tezzerick exploits. Yeah. If any of you guys want to also play Tezzerick, but I'm just, I'm just down to regain my honor. I think you roll your dice and take Gabe's dice in difficulty. Oh, okay. Which I have right here. You have so fucking many, Jesus. Well, if I'm using education, oh right? Oh my god! <laughs> so, uh, you win the game, but 
but uh not the game of our friendship in, in, <laughs> in the game of our friendship you're like oh fuck yeah and you slam your hand down on the table and you accidentally press the button oh god that and the Foss, the like <laughs> table like rotates like something out of a fucking spy movie and there's some like oh my god shit like technological shit you don't quite recognize under there what um oh. what <laughs> I don't know if you see Wait, if either of the other two have seen this. Like? Well, I also assume that uh, Yvonne is still sitting in exactly the same position. You want to roll, uh, what the fuck oh, knowledge fuck. skill would this be? What have I done? I My guess hubris. just education. Education. My hubris. Can I roll some education. <laughs> okay. Can I God have another yellow? Please yeah. make the dice box not on an incline. Yeah, here we Absolutely go. would not have like landed on that despair if it wasn't for the incline. Oof, <laughs> I really want to know. And, oh, you have to roll against two. Uh, Three difficulty, three purple, as well. Oh, oh, god! Ooh. Success with uh, three advantages. Okay, so uh, that's a, a com jammer, which is like illegal. Um, it's like <laughs> it just it makes noise that scrambles comms so people can't talk to them, and it has a pretty big range too, especially one as large as this, like installed. So here's what I imagine, which is happens. so interesting. Yes. You win and slam the button, and the thing comes up, and you're like, oh, oh shit! And you like scram to like get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and then I'm just sitting there. And there's, like, a really awkward moment of silence where I'm, like, just, like, looking back and forth kind of confused. <laughs> but then my, my thought process is kind of, like, well, I knew she was kind of doing illegal things anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm a crime boy at this point, too. I just reached my hand across the table. I'm, like, good game. Wow. Okay. As the table <laughs> rotates, as the table rotates back into Desiric settings, we're just handshaking, and I'm absolutely sweating again. <laughs> what do you want to use those um, advantages for, Gabe? Uh, I say good game as well. But my hand is, like, incredibly clammy. <laughs> it could just be, like, healing uh, stress if you have any. Oh, yeah, sure. It's fucking called stress, right? I have three strain. 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 Oh, yeah, you got strain. Yeah, you can heal all of that with three advantage, I think. Nice. I'm pretty sure. Oh, she was gonna say If we're playing this game like wrong, anyway, tell right? us in some way, shape, or form. I, 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 I Iwan <laughs> is slightly impressed. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that makes me feel good. I think Ewan definitely that. knows enough about illegal to recognize it. Not like Foss, who's a little baby boy. Okay, so yeah, Aisha, Ooh, I back. assume you're like not here for this Desiric drama. No, I'm not, but I'm like on my way to your present location. I have okay. like decided to exit my room. My okay, cool. A bold with move. One chair. Yeah, I, I'd say we're coming in on the planet now, mm -hmm. but does anyone want to do anything or like establish that we talked about anything else? I'm also gonna. I, Rue, is it correct in saying that Yuan was just sitting in one place the entire time? Yes. Okay. Does Excellent. he poop? Hey, does Yuan poop? Does he piss? He has a cybernetic I think that's asshole. for you to so decide. He's a cybernetic yeah. asshole? Does he poop no, out of the No, no. <laughs> that's not what I said. Okay. You said cybernetic asshole. I said he has a cybernetic asshole. Neither a confirmation nor a denial that he wants. Has he just been shitting his pants as he's sitting there? That's what I would like to know. His body is made of parts. I don't know what he does. I don't know. Okay, well, you better search your feelings and figure it out. Because I'm you? very stressed out about this conundrum. Okay, I've offered you food, though, in the five days. I'm like, here. Um, <laughs> yeah, at least it's once been in five, the five days. fucking days. Yeah, I'm like, did, did you shit? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Wait, did he take off his mask to eat? No. <laughs> Important. Comment. Yeah, do you take off your mask to eat? Um, we're all staring. We we <laughs> offer you food, and then we're, like, staring at you on, like... <laughs> I don't like that. You just put the... The food just clips through your mask. <laughs> <laughs> I will go to my room and eat. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I, don't, wow. I do not want people to see my face. Wow. That's a thing. Oh, okay. Wow. We kind of share a glance. Like, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's under there. <laughs> Could be anything. Could be a furry. Could be Ewan McGregor. I'm censoring that. <laughs> Could be another mask. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. A uh, slightly smaller mask. Anybody else doing anything before we land? Them. Good. Um, I like emerge like only to eat, but I do like eat with you guys. Like I'm like you know want friends but don't want to get attached. Okay, cool. <laughs> If it's another five days, I think I'm gonna go through two more pixie sticks. Oh, oh god. shit! Oh yeah. my god! Okay. Is that what we're calling them? 
Wait, yeah. I thought you actually meant pixie sticks. Yes. <laughs> For a second, I was like, hmm, but then I remember. Oh, you can't just have two pixie sticks in five days. I saw you sort those. I saw you sort those. So every time you come out of your fucking room in shame, I'm like. I did them in my room. <laughs> you can only know if there's cameras okay. in the um, room, which would be weird. Merritt does want friends, so Merritt's gonna go ahead and like be talking to people about their lives or trying to. Um, any biters? Any takers? Yeah, Foss is a, well, I wouldn't okay. say sociable, but he will talk if maybe, spoken to. Maybe we get into even talking about, like, the hollow net and yeah. our, our childhoods. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we don't get fully. Yeah, no, yeah, we don't no. get fully, but we're like, oh, yeah, when I was younger, I was book? like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, Gark, 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 Gark Nuffenberg actually lived on my planet. He was a Zeltron. <laughs> Um, Whoa. Yeah, he's a pretty creepy That's guy. pretty though. wild. I always thought that he was just like a human that painted his skin pink, but I mean, I digress. What makes you think that? He's just weird, you know? <laughs> yeah, I can. He's like very unemotional. Um, Stone faced. Yeah. Yeah. And then we share some memes. Yeah. Perhaps <laughs> some Polynet memes. Which What's... feels weird because they're like definitely outdated. Each of you give me a space meme. Uh, uh, mine is like the space equivalent of Chuck Norris. And mine... it's so old. And when you see it, you're like, oh my god, is this really a, it... a Chuck Norris meme? Mine is Pew Pew the Frog. Oh god. You <laughs> want to believe whatever the fuck you just said. <laughs> yeah. I don't dare to repeat it. Did you say Pew Pew? Pew Pew. Pew Pew. Like pew, 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 pew in space, uh, but in a thing. Pew. Okay. Pew Pew the Mon Calamari. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually That's good. like a that's sentient person, though. I feel like that's I different mean, than that. I mean, someone's Pepe the Frog! <laughs> yeah. Wait, okay, I'm censoring that. <laughs> we can't say that on this podcast. Um, okay, yeah, those are the memes we share. Thanks for making us do that. <laughs> you brought this um, upon yourselves. I try to talk to Ewan. Uh, Ewan will say things, but in a very matter-of-fact and not really okay. give answers. Yeah, I kind of get that after a few sentences, and I'm like, well, have a good say okay. on my ship. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I talked to Aisha a little bit, like, I ask if you're okay, because we just, uh, kinda, <laughs> we just life. fucked up your whole <laughs> life. We just came to your planet, and now you're with us on this ship, going to Pirate World. <laughs> Pirate Con 20, 2018. <laughs> just kind of like, well, you know, I've been better, but I've never been particularly attached to that place, so it kind of feels good to get out. Yeah, I can I can definitely feel that. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad, and thanks for coming with us as well. Like, you were a great help in there. Thank you for posting me. I'm not <laughs> used to, like, having a place to live with people. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet, <laughs> Evan. Uh, Marriott's like, I guess, um, I'm not used to having people in my place <laughs> to live. <laughs> that went bad. I thought it would be more sweet. I thought it was very sweet. Okay, you're thanks. valid. Thank you. Um, it's valid. So, okay, I, I think that's us all from us. Alrighty. So you all uh pull in out of hyperspace. So pull out. Screech. You yeah. arrive, <laughs> Norlac. It's a very nice looking planet. Like there's a bunch of pirates that live there, but it's like a nice. That they're they're just in one location mostly with some scattered settlements. Most of the planet is wild. There's like these small like alabaster mountains and forests and grasslands and shit. Yeah, it's it's just real nice. I have a question. You have a question. What is alabaster? It's like white. Like rock. a white color okay. yeah. of rock. Like an alabaster brow. And yeah, that's that's Norlac, and you can see there's some ships kind of circling around. There's one like. Small for a capital ship, but still a capital ship in orbit, just kind of, like, making sure no one causes trouble. Huh. And on the there's... pirate planet? Making sure no one causes any pirate trouble <laughs> on the pirate planet? Well, pirate trouble is okay, but, like, uh, other a trouble. Pirate code, of okay, course. that's true, that's you true. You bet your ass there's a pirate code. Wow. <laughs> of some sort. Okay. Whew. Yeah, and you can see, uh... I don't know where where you you headed to. Are you oh, gonna I mean, go see Javik? <laughs> is Javik here? <laughs> Such a loaded question. Yeah, well, it's I very like loaded. As a, as a party, you can turn to Ewan first. Yeah, right? I like, mean, we're just going. Ewan has an actual charter here. We're just like kind of going, and we thought it would be a good place to go. Yeah. And also, you yeah. want your drugs. I do want my drugs. I I will. So like, yeah, I turn Ewan, the mic to you. Okay, Ewan would probably be like. It, like shakes your hand and be like thank you for everything and then goes and leaves in that in that general direction 
and then you guys are going in the same direction, and he's like, oh. <laughs> well, I, I don't, like, do I know where Javik's place is on this planet is? Uh, I mean, probably, I mean, you know I where know, his ship probably, is. You, you, you can contact like, them yeah. and ask. He, like, he, he contacted your ship, right, to arrange for transportation okay. of the goods, so we have his number. This is just so <laughs> embarrassing, because we just left him. <laughs> You've had his number for a while, I think. Yeah, I know. It's been, like, a week or so. I mean, it's been a week, that's true. It's been, like, three days. Yeah, five days, at least. Little, days a little least. less than five days. Okay. Ooh, but in, like, Star Wars time, and also in, like, complicated relationships time, that's, like, a, a, an hour. Yeah. And I don't want to call him. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you call him, actually, Foss? I guess. I'm just, I, I do this in a more casual way. I'm like, hey, Foss, uh... Tell remember that deal? Yeah, you remember that deal you had with Javik? Oh, Do you want to yeah, let yeah. him know? Uh, at this point, Foss is down to four uh, sticks left, so he's very interested in okay. contacting Javik, okay. actually. Cool. <laughs> I just, like, I put him, then I, I have to activate the comms, but I go and, like, enter in that. And we're just, like, mm -hmm. outside the fucking planet, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, do you want to... Am I, am I already gone, or am I just... No, you're... Uh, it depends here. what you we want. Haven't, we haven't... Yeah. Okay. Do you... Do you wait, wait actually, yeah, have you important. said the name Job, his full name That's Jobbish? so true, yeah. With the full name, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm like, where, where, so where are you headed? Um, where should we drop you off? Did you, did you perhaps mention a name of Javik? Javik Mendas. Javik Mendas? I... Oh, yeah. You <laughs> we were just talking to that guy. I, yeah. uh, I have... That is the person I'm trying to get in contact with. Well, I don't... Hmm. This is a very strange coincidence. Merit <laughs> is becoming it's increasingly concerned with the job eccentricness of <laughs> this particular <laughs> week in her life. Uh, she does a little, like, pursed lip smile, and she's like, Oh! <laughs> You're is seeing job Vic too! What a uh, <laughs> coincidence! Is everything alright? Everything's great. <laughs> um, uh, why don't we just go there together then? What a wonderful <laughs> little coincidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> like he can, he can, he can absolutely tell something is wrong, but he does not want to know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, in that case, well, this is day has gone from good to better. <laughs> Uh, Foss, do you want to contact him? Yeah, totally. Thanks. Marion goes to the bathroom and washes her face. Are we using, like, back. the hollow communicator things? Yeah. Cool. That's. I think that's the only way you have to, like, yeah. contact people in Star yeah. Wars. I guess Mer I bring him up. Yeah. Are comlinks and hollow communicators the same thing? Comlinks are short distance, right? Yeah, comlinks are, like, audio only. Hollow communicators are, like, they actually show projection of the person. Okay, I said... All right, well, afraid. we're gonna want to see Javik. We don't. We don't. We really don't. It's like um, a yeah. huddle with, like, me, Aisha, <laughs> and Iwan all, like, eagerly looking in. And Maren's, like, in the background trying to hide her face. Um, okay. Did my employer get in contact with Javik and say that I was going to be arriving? Or is uh, just, Not like, that you know of. Oh. Okay. You're the one like introducing okay. sort of okay. oh, an ambassador. You're the yeah, ambassador. The embassy. Okay. Uh in that case, I I just hold down the Skype button and with my arm like out of frame. Uh go ahead. <laughs> Does he pick up? What's Uh so you call and the person who answers the call is a a Natolan, okay. which is like a Kit Fisto. Oh, uh. I love him. Excellent. Do you know what that means? No. Yeah. Uh, oh, you, he's the guy, uh, he was in Geonosis Battle. Yeah, he, yeah, he was like the, uh, yeah. oh, with the he all the tentacle hair. And the black yeah, yeah. eyes, yeah. yeah. Natolans, they have tentacle hair and like big old black eyes. And sexy bodies. What? <laughs> well, I don't know, I guess it depends on your interpretation. Yeah. But this Natolan could be said to be sexy. <laughs> they have like red and like dark kind of iridescent blue Ooh. striping on their, their tentacles and face and whatnot. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. And they they and turn. We can't tell because it's a hologram. Oh, true. They have dark <laughs> and lighter uh, stripes. Okay. Yeah. They turn. All they one. say, uh, "Oh, uh, uh, are you are you visible at all, Morant?" No, I'm my arm. Okay. Maybe <laughs> I'm out of frame. Uh, who 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 are you? Who is uh, this? Hi. Uh, my name is Foss. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay, Foss. Hey, what's up? Uh, I was actually expecting to see someone else. Um, we were hoping to get in contact with uh, K K Sir, Mr. <laughs> Javik. Oh, ja uh, well, Javik's not awake yet, but uh, I can take a message for her. 
I mean, his, uh, what's a good secretary? pirate ship rank? <laughs> oh, God, no, not secretary. <laughs> First mate. I'm the quartermaster. Uh, fuck, I don't have a name. Kit Fisto. Uh, Kit Fisto. Fit, fit Kisto. <laughs> fit Kisto, okay. I'm fit. I'm the quartermaster on the, the Noah Star. Yeah, excellent. Um, well, could you please let Javik know that, uh, I of Marin ship am very <laughs> eager. Oh, Marin! No. Yes. Yes. Did you say anything <laughs> I'm, about Marin? I'm, I'm sliced. I'm yeah, we all know Marin. No. Yeah. I mean, that was a few years back. Well, he did mention he saw her, like, the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We actually set up a deal. Uh, we're sucks. looking to get a hold of some goods that we procured from him or for him. Oh, that um, was you guys. Yeah. Yes, that was us indeed. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Mary, you do know this person, oh, like li- a little shit. less personally. You okay, do know. Fit, I don't though. say hi, but I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. You didn't fuck them, but no, <laughs> shut up. This is in the past. We were just hoping to get a status update on that shipment. Um, we're uh, we just landed on Norlac. If there's anywhere specific we should go, if you could point us that direction. Oh yeah, sure. I think we just got that stuff in, uh, and they give you coordinates to like where uh, presumably Javik's ship is parked. Okay, awesome. cool. Thank you. Yeah, we're right in the uh, uh, the old financial district. Excellent. You know, from before the plant got destroyed or something. I don't know. You have okay. my There's friends. ruins. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be Is this like a recent then. thing? Or? Oh, no. It happened like thousands of years ago. So it's all good. No, oh, okay. Yeah. No guilt. No guilt. <laughs> well, yeah, I wasn't alive thousands of years ago. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> That's just a good old Nautilin joke. <laughs> Not really a Nautilin joke. Yeah, I'm working on my material. You guys, uh, yeah, you, you can come down anytime. I love them. Uh, do you know when Javik will be awake? What time is it? <laughs> it's ten dirty Star Wars time. Uh, I mean, probably pretty soon. Cool. <laughs> I guess you'll be seeing, and he will be seeing us soon then. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, is Morant coming? I'd like to catch up with her. Yeah, I, I, th- I think she's coming. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm doing a, t- a myriad of symbols here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to communicate through the hand's gestures. Don't expect her. This is neither a confirmation nor a denial of Mara's presence. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I hang up. I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Elon has seen all of this and is starting to piece together what is happening. <laughs> <laughs> just need to make good some notes. Intellect. Some Sucks. notes really quick in my notes. Yeah. What's the name of this session? Oh, this session is called Negotiations on Norlac. Wow. Because I like it's... alliteration. This is like some fucking. Um, <laughs> Or rather, this is like some fucking school. What is it called? Magic Treehouse. Yeah. Shit. Do you guys oh, remember shit. that? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 The in at Happy Matthew. I don't fucking yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. Napoleon. It was, always, it was always alliterated. Yeah. I love this. Negotiations. Um. I wrote negotiations. <laughs> you. Elvis. Also, I misspoke earlier. He called the ship the Nova Star. It's called the Nova Lily. The Nova oh. Lily. Which the, I should write. That which down. is the kind of uh, flower that's in Javik's tattoos. Would I know this? I think maybe. I yeah, think I'm she's pretty sure you would, It's, it's huh? like a common flower. I think talked about it with him. They basically I think you've talked about many things. <laughs> I think... You've seen should... his full tattoos. Mm, yeah. His you've seen all of them. Yeah, his, all of them. That's the kind of <laughs> thing you've seen all of them. All of them, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, can, I feel like I'm really being harassed in the whole lead right now. <laughs> I shouldn't have made that joke, and I'm sorry, and I, I would take it back if I could. <laughs> but we're in this but, now. Okay, wait, Nova Lily? Yeah, it is like a common flower. It's like tiger lilies, but in really like vibrant different colors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay, so I, I we bring the ship down. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys mm-hmm. just gonna stay in the control room also with me as I just bring it down? Yeah. It's kind of a, a sweet image. Okay. <laughs> uh, I wanna draw that. Yeah, it's sweet. We we go we go down uh, to the planet. I guess I have little to no trouble finding. The, that place. Yeah, you can just okay. like contact some like space I, traffic control tower and like, oh okay. yeah, there's a, there's a park in space right there. Okay. Just bring her down right there. Cool. Um, and I, I suppose we see the ship as well. Is it painted like the flowers as well? Uh, the ship is not. Okay. Not the outside. Okay, I, I see it. I identify it. I bring the ship down. 
in the world of pain as far emotionally. Away as, possible. <laughs> as far away as possible in the corner of the parking spot that they gave us, being rude to the ones around us. You're not like right next to it, you're like a few away. Oh, but it's... I still still the distance is what's important. <laughs> um and then I take a deep breath. Whew, and I say, Well, it's time time to time to get this rolling. Time to get off the ship and go to the other ship where yeah. Javik is. You want to like are, are you ready? Do you perhaps need a <laughs> glass of water? Wow, that's so kind of you. Yes, I do. I'll go get it now. Yeah. And I go pour myself a glass of water. Oof, okay. He understands. Do you guys want to leave your stuff here also? Because I assume we'll be back and that the ship will not be destroyed. I still think everything is okay. I... Bold I mean, assumption. I don't even know... You... God. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> You want to assume that he's gonna be here for a while, so he's okay, gonna take cool. all this stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Aisha, do you want to leave any of your stuff? Uh, I have like a single duffel bag, so I'm good. I'll just leave it here. It's okay. got like three things in it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so we start off to the ship. How Whew. far is it to the recording studio? Here we leave them, a motley crew on the horizon of adventure. Tune in next episode for more of these Star Boys with increasingly better audio recording practices. Thanks for listening, and may the Force be with you.